How is it hanging, ladies and gentlemen? All right. We have a new beer from Alexander Keith, my old nemesis. Um, this is the latest in their hop series, their single hop beers. This is their Saleya Hop Ale, 5.5% alcohol by volume. Saleya hops, from what I remember, are sort of a offshoot of Sturian Golding that are grown in Slovenia, I believe. Is that what they say here? Slovenian hop, yeah. Okay, so um, I guess they're, they don't necessarily taste like Sturian Golding anymore. I guess they're sort of uh, uh, changed significantly. Um, but yeah, we're into it here. I've already got some of it poured. Uh, generate the head there. The head was about, well, a bit thicker than that. It died down fairly quick, but it looked really nice while it lasted. Color is basically your deeper amber, sort of copper color. Looks very nice. We'll go right to the aroma. Cheers. See what we think of the Saleya Hop from Alexander Keys. All right. Okay, so that's interesting. You're getting um. Yeah, you're definitely getting the hops, which is good. Uh, one hop um, beer. You shouldn't really be getting any malt at all. And I'm basically just getting the hops and the smell. I'm getting a earthy, but not intensely earthy. Just a sort of a slight earthiness. Um, a nice pepper kind of thing going on the aroma. A nice big pepper note. And just a teeniest hint of like some sort of citrus going on there. Um, I can't decide whether it's lemon or lime. Uh, it's, it's something along those lines. Some slightly sourish kind of citrus note in there. So we'll go right to the taste. Cheers. It smells very good, by the way. Um, I think probably the best smelling of all their uh, one hop so far. So that's great. We'll go right into the taste now. I'm actually kind of excited. All right. Cheers. Okay, you do get more of the malt in the taste, um, just your standard North American pale malt kind of taste, um, which is good. That's all you want in one of these one hot beers. You don't want anything with any big pronounced flavors. Um, nice earthy hot finish, not particularly dry or dirty. It's just, um, again, a mild earthy hot finish. Uh, that's probably where the uh, Sturian Golding still lies in this, uh, which I, if I'm wrong about that, just someone correct me, I'm a little too lazy to do research on an Alexander Keys beer at this point, um, but I'm pretty sure it is a Sturian, some sort of Sturian offshoot, so, and if that's the case, that's where the earthiness is coming from, um, uh, getting more of that peppery note, uh, just sort of sprinkle around the edges, and there's a little bit of a sweetness in there. And again, just a teeniest bit of, I'd say, lemon sourness. There's nothing big walloping in the face here. Uh, again, with these one hop things, the, I don't know how much hops they actually add to these. Um, I assume they... All the other ones, they've sort of dumbed down the hops. They've still displayed the hops, showcased them fairly well, I guess, for what for what they are. But they've, for the most part, kind of dumbed them down to make them more accessible to typical Keith drinkers. You know, ones who don't necessarily drink craft beers and who've probably never tasted hops in their fucking life because all they drink is Keith's IPA. Um, so in that case, this beer serves its purpose very well. It's uh, just sort of a light introduction to these hops. And for my money, this is probably the best tasting single hop from Alexander Keith, and probably the best product they've made since uh, their traditional lager many, many moons ago. So, that makes me want to sit back and consider the rating for this. Now, I can't remember what I gave the other uh, Keith one hops. I think they were all like three... 
like threes and three two fives and stuff like that. I'm not going to go as far as to give it a four. That would be, I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised and all, but I'm not going to be throwing Ke Alexander Keats a bone. Um, I'd go three seven five out of five. It's a good beer. It it really is a good beer. It's a well made beer. It is somewhere on the quality level of some of the stuff Moosehead is doing with both their um, uh, Screaming Beaver line and just like their Boundary Ale and stuff like that. Um, it, it's somewhere in that semi in between area of craft and crafty, you know, kind of thing. And it's really well done. I got to give the devil their due, you know. Uh, Keese actually did a really good job on this one. Uh, so there you go. Three seven five out of five for Alexander Keys Salea Hop Ale. It is actually pretty damn decent, pretty damn drinkable. I think pretty damn approachable for just about anyone. This hop is a really easy to get into one. So um, yeah, I think there's even value in there for craft brew drinkers who just want something easy to sit back and drink. So there you go. Cheers, guys. We'll see you later. Bye bye.